Congressman Matt Gates' legal troubles may have just gotten a lot worse. The Department of Justice is now investigating the Florida Republican for a potential attempt to obstruct justice. Sources tell CNN that investigators were told Gates and an associate discussed a plan to talk to Gates' ex-girlfriend about the federal sex crimes investigation. She's a potential key witness in this. CBS CNN has previously reported that Gates is under investigation for sex trafficking and prostitution tied to an alleged sexual relationship with a minor. Gates has strongly denied having sex with a 17-year-old and has not yet been charged with any wrongdoing. Let's get right to CNN's senior legal affairs correspondent Paula Reed. And, and Paula, on this obstruction issue, is the allegation here that there was an attempt or discussion of influence, influencing testimony? of this witness or, or just contacting this witness or both? There's multiple instances here. Look, mm -hmm. I've been reporting on this for a few months. I think it's mm -hmm. important for people to remember that aside from allegations of sex and drugs, at the heart of this investigation is a group of very young women. Many of them are vulnerable. I've spoken to many of them, and many of them have said they're scared to be part of a federal investigation. And they are especially susceptible to any influence, especially from powerful men. And now we've learned that the Justice Department is looking at whether the congressman or any of his associates have tried to influence these witnesses. And what's also so interesting is in our reporting, we learned this isn't new. Investigators have actually been worried about attempts at obstruction since last fall, around the time that the sex trafficking investigation into the congressman began. Now, among the incidents under scrutiny by federal investigators, we know last October, October 2020, early in the month, the congressman and an associate discussed taking a trip to visit his ex-girlfriend, who is a key witness in the case. Now, to be clear, this ex-girlfriend is not the minor he allegedly had sexual contact with, but she's key to this investigation because she, this ex-girlfriend was linked to the congressman in the summer of 2017. And that's the time period where he allegedly had contact with a minor. And that's why she is of particular interest to investigators. Now, Politico was first to report the obstruction investigation late last night, and they say that investigators are also looking at a call between the ex-girlfriend and a witness that the congressman was eventually patched into. Now, important to note, the congressman has not been charged with any wrongdoing, and his spokesman issued a statement saying Congressman Gates pursues justice. He does not obstruct it. After two months, there is not a single on-record accusation of misconduct, and now the story is changing yet again. But Jim and Poppy, the story is not changing at all. The, our reporting is that this investigation is expanding. It started out with allegations of possible sexual contact with a minor, sex trafficking, public corruption, and now obstruction. Yeah. Poppy. Uh Paula, uh, two points. One, I'm, uh, you're so right that, that the center of this is young girls, young women, mm -hmm. right? So thank you for pointing that out. The, the other question, just for clarification that I have for, for me and for our viewers is, it, is the allegation here that Gates and an associate talked about a plan to talk to the ex-girlfriend and maybe try to sway anything she might say, or that they actually talked to that ex-girlfriend? That's what investigators are looking into. Did they make the trip? Did they go through an intermediary? Okay. That's what they're trying to figure out. Did they go and what did they say? There's nothing wrong with visiting someone, asking if they've talked to investigators, right. but they're trying to figure out how far did they go. Okay, thank you, Paula, for your reporting. As always on this, let's talk uh, more about the, the legal aspects here with senior legal analyst Ellie Honig, who is, I should note, a former federal and state prosecutor. Ellie, it's a big deal um, if there was obstruction here because they can use that to show a consciousness of guilt, right? Yeah, Poppy, this is bad news for Matt Gates on two levels, really. First of all, it is a federal crime and a serious one to obstruct justice. People get charged with obstruction of justice all the time. People go to jail simply for obstruction of justice commonly. And beyond that, obstruction enables prosecutors to argue to a jury what we call consciousness of guilt, meaning the really very simple, logical idea that you don't obstruct justice unless you have a reason. You don't try to get people to change or alter their testimony unless there's something that you're trying to hide. That can be a really powerful argument. To Paula's point, this investigation is expanding. It's not shrinking. It's been a couple of weeks now since Gates' associate, Joel Goldberg, made a deal with prosecutors. Mm -hmm. And at the time, you and I, we, we discussed this as also bad news for Gates because to get such a deal, he would often have to promise cooperation regarding other witnesses, right? I just wonder what the timeline is, given your experience as a federal prosecutor. Uh, it has been an investigation that's existed for months, still no charges. Does, does that indicate anything to you? 
Yeah, Jim, so on the one hand, if you look at the plea papers for Joel Greenberg, they're mm -hmm. really detailed. Prosecutors are making clear in those papers they have a lot of evidence. They cite texts, they cite financial records. When you look at that in a vacuum, you think they're pretty far along. They have to be pretty close to next steps. On the other hand, the nature of investigations is they tend to go off in different routes and in unexpected directions. And I think we're seeing that here. Paula said this is yeah. an expansion of this investigation. That happens all the time. You talk to one witness, they lead you to another witness. Witness. We know they're talking to the ex-girlfriend. Well, maybe the ex-girlfriend will know things that the first witness didn't know, and that'll lead you down another road. So as a prosecutor, you're trying to strike the balance between moving as quickly as possible, but also developing all the key facts of your case. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Ellie Honig, thank you on all of it.